Isaiah chapter 14. Looking at verses 1 to 6. Israel. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And what? And I know yet chose choose Israel. So there goes the religions. There goes the people to teach God's all finished with Israel. And for some of them, they don't read their Bible. For some of them, they read the Bible, but since the book of Acts, the rejection of Jesus Christ, they say, okay, God just threw it all out. So because they rejected Jesus Christ and turned them over to the Roman government, all the prophecies of God have ended. That's not how prophecy works. And set them in their own land. That was 1948. But they're not in control of their land. They got a, I believe it's the prime minister. And the United Nations and the president and the queen and the czars. Well, you got to give up a little land so we can make these people happy. When you got the king of kings and the lord of lords sitting on the throne of David, that ain't going to happen. Israel is going to get every chunk of land deserved to him and more. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Gentiles. And you know when you study the millennium. And they shall cleave, join to, be part to the house of Jacob. That's in the millennium. You got Roman Catholics over there. You got uh, Arabians over there. You've got all kinds of people over there. And they're not one with Israel. They're not seeking God. And over there in Israel right now is the dumb of the rock. It's dumb of the rock. No, it's the dumb of the rock. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and for handmaids of God. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they are were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Israel will be in charge one day. That's not today. Every time Israel gives up a little property, they're not ruling. Israel is the oppressed. That's not how it's going to be in the millennium. And it shall come to pass in the day, not that day, in the day that the Lord, see that's, see that's the problem, you can't mess with the Bible. You can't mess with the writings and the words and add in subtraction. You take away. In the day that the Lord shall give thee rest, Hebrews speaks about that rest. Hebrews, I said, speaks about that rest. I said, Hebrews speaks about that rest. That's the millennial rest. That's the Sabbath, the seventh. The millennium. From thy sorrow, from thy fear. It's coming a day for Israel, the fear will be put away. And from the hard bondage. Where then they were made to serve. I mean, they're, they're serving hard bondage today. And they will definitely in the tribulation period. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Now a type of Antichrist. Saying, how has the, oppress, how has the oppressor ceased? Again, now we're looking at the end of Babylon. We're looking at B.C. 712, and Babylon wasn't established until 606. We still got 106 years le left over, and we're already looking at the end of Babylon, and we're looking at the end of Babylon of the book of Revelation. And the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. There's that reference to the Antichrist again. And the scepter of rulers. Uh, let me guess, 10 kings? 
I, I just take a wild Bible guess. <coughs> he who smote the people in wrath. That's the Antichrist. Revelation 12 says the, the, the devil is in wrath because he knows his time is short. And who does he go after? Israel, the woman. With a continual stroke. He that rules the nations in anger. Who's ruling, who's ruling the world? The Antichrist. And he's referenced to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar may have had a great realm under Babylon, but he wasn't reigning the North America. He wasn't reigning over the Incas. He wasn't reigning over the Chinese and Japanese. The Antichrist will. It's persecuted and none hinder it. No one's going to hinder the Antichrist. There were some bounds that were set by Nebuchadnezzar. Kingdom. The whole earth is at rest. That ain't now. No way could you apply that right now. And is quiet. You can't say that about America today. You realize we are in a point in America today on April of the April. And January 14th, 2021. We make we may wake up tomorrow like Babylon and have a whole brand new government. And you may, you know, if, if you don't like the Democrats, you may not get the Democratic president. You know how right now, you know how much this country is on the verge of a civil war? And there'll be more than just two sides. It'll be a civil war of multiple sides. You guys, we got now the armed troops right now in Washington, D.C. And I read today they got razor wires set up in Washington, D.C. for the president's inauguration. And not only the president's inauguration has been changed because of COVID-19, but it's now changed because they fear uprising. Yay! The fir trees. You mean the Douglas fir? You mean the Christmas trees? Rejoice at thee. The cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, rest, no filler is come up against us. In the millennium, they're not going to be cut down the trees. And it says in one point, the millennium, that the, every man is going to turn their weapon in, and they're going to change their weapons into peace, and they're not going to need wood. They're going to use the weapons. Scripture with scripture. Now we're going to look at the beast, the Antichrist, verses 9 to 11. Hell, oh, Isaiah. And Scofield has a note, Shiloh. Shiloh is hell in Abraham's bosom, and that gulf. But there's one specific place called hell. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirs up the dead for thee. When the Antichrist enters into hell, the Bible says the Antichrist is put into the lake of fire. All hell is like, whoa. What are you doing here? I lost. It has raised up from the thrones, plural, of all the kings of the nations. Uh, uh, ten? I would give a guess. All they shall speak and say unto thee. This is in hell. Where did we see this before? Jesus said, the rich man in hell said, Abraham, do you realize they're talking in hell? You... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You realize it hasn't happened yet, but when the Antichrist is cast into hell, you realize they're talking to him? Imagine all the Catholics that will be in hell when the popes enter into hell. Imagine. Imagine. All the people that are in hell today, right now, will go to hell. Thinking that they were saved. And they weren't saved. 
And woe be to the man, whatever office he held, whatever being he was, you know, just a man. Woe be if that man was lost and he ends up in hell with those that people thought they were going to heaven. Can you imagine the eternity in the lake of fire? And just say this prayer and you I said that prayer. Look where I am now. All oh, eyes closed. Raise your hand and say this prayer. I did that. What on earth are we doing here? Oh yeah, you, 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 you holiness. Just eat and drink the literal body and blood of Jesus. What in the hell are we doing here? you imagine the popes? And can you imagine the preachers? Can you imagine the bishop? Can you imagine the men and women that will be in hell with the people saying, what on hell are we doing here by your teaching? And what in the hell are you doing here? What are you going to do? You can't escape. And you know who. Because that rich man said, Father Abraham... Send who? Send Lazarus. They know who you are. They know. They know. They know. And they remember. I got five brethren. Oh, I'm going to go to hell. I'm going to party. And your friends are going to cuss you out because you're all there together. Yeah, we, we were invited to that church service and uh, you, you were laughing. You have, you know, don't go up there. Don't get saved. You don't need. It was all a lie. And, and it, oh, yeah, I believed you. And look where the hell we are right now. You don't like my language, but hey, hell is a word. The only thing the Bible says that hell is darkness, but you can hear. Can you imagine the voices in hell right now? Can you imagine a man that led people into hell, all the occults. All the denominations. Just get baptized. Just say this prayer. Just give us money. Eat this. Do this. Don't do that. And then the Antichrist enters into hell. The Bible says the devil's going to hell. And he don't care. He's going to be thrilled to know that there are people there. We'll look at that in a moment. And they shall speak and say unto thee, the Antichrist, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? What are you doing here? They're pumped. By pump. And that's that big show. It's the big splendor. You know, you see it in England, you know, when the one the royals are going to go out and the big deal they make about that. And then, you know, you see pictures in the military, you saw with Adolf Hitler, they got all the troops, they, and, you know, they got the fancy clothing, they got all the medals and, the, you know, the everything metal is polished. And you see that with the president of the United States. I mean, the president of the United States, they got this car you cannot blow up. And yet they have the Secret Service running around this car like they're going to do something. Why is the Secret Service running along the car? For a big pump. For a big show. The red carpet, all the cameras flashing, all the fans. <laughs> That's pump. It's brought down to the grave, death. And the noise of thy vials and <laughs> music. The golden image, you know, at the sound of the music, the worm, your body goes to worms. Now, I, I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not going to spend a day for it, but I have heard and I tend to believe that the doctrine is that unsaved people in hell are likened to a worm, literal. That's why you can get so many people and you're a bunch of maggots.
But we're not going to get into that. I'll throw that out there. That's another time. We could do it, but it's spread under thee. You imagine if in hell that's the case. You imagine you're crawling around like a bunch of maggots. You know, there's nothing disgusting to remove a garbage can lid and there's maggots. I, I, I have books read to me. I don't read the book. I have them read to me. And I, I, I just heard one. It was, oh yeah, the war, uh, the war of the world. And he goes in this room and he pulls pulls open the drawer. And he said there was meat there with maggots. I can just, uh, just imagine. Ew. And you're hungry. Look, that churn your stomach. And the worms will cover thee. <laughs> you want the heebie-jeebies. You want the cooties. Do you imagine little maggots? And if this is little. If this is true and little, you just imagine little maggots and that everybody's just crawling over each other in hell. Ooh. I already taken a shower this morning and I taken a bath and right now I'm gonna go take another one. Ugh. Verse 12 to 17. How art thou fallen from heaven? Uh, twice this happened. Twice. Revelation chapter 12. You notice how we keep going to Revelation? My daughter told me, and she was looking the other day, she sees all these, all these ministries are doing, they're all doing the book of Revelation. Are they doing Daniel too? I mean, Daniel besides, not Daniel chapter 2. Are they doing Isaiah? Or are they, all right, we got chapter one down. We did chapter two. Revelation chapter 12. Oh, we could spend a whole night on this. Oh, where do I want to go? <clears throat> well, verse nine. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent, ooh, I don't know who that is, called the devil and the Satan, which deceives the whole world. He's cast into the earth, and his angels were cast with him. The intergalactical heavenly war, verse 7 and 8. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the heavens, the earth, and the sea. We're going to rejoice when the devil's kicked out of heaven. How's that? The devil cometh down unto you, the devil having great wrath because he knows his time is short. All right, that's the devil. Come back over here to, to Isaiah. How out there fallen from heaven, O Lucifer. Lucifer was a created cherubim. The fifth cherubim of the class of reptiles. There's a man, there's an eagle, there's an ox, and there's a calf. There's no fish. That's Dagon. That's that little symbol you put in the back of a car. It's not supposed to represent Christ. It represents the devil. Lucifer is the devil, is the dragon, is Satan while he's in heaven. And he is fallen from his position in heaven. And he's now the devil. He's, he's, the, he's Satan. And he's allowed at God's throne, Job chapter 1, Job chapter 2. And when you read in the book of Revelation, the accuser of the brethren, he, the devil, Satan, is allowed to enter before God's presence. When, when we die, we're absent from the body and present with the Lord and the rapture. When we get to heaven, we're going to see the devil walk up to God and say, well, what about that man? And many Christians are going to be shocked, but I've read the Bible, I've read Job. I've been walking up and down through the earth and... And the devil has two falls out of heaven. Isaiah chapter two, uh, 14, verse 12, which is between Genesis 1 1 and Genesis 1 2. And yes, I believe in the gap. And if you don't, that's okay. Well, he's against Christmas and Easter. And the gap is really not, 
That's not doctrinal, but I believe in the gap theory. And I've heard people who are against the gap, and you know what? I've heard it and say, hey. But what I've heard about the gap with the scriptures, I tend to the gap theory even closer, hearing all the arguments. And I believe Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And then Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, Lucifer falls, Lucifer is cast out of heaven. And the reason why the moon is so beat up and cratered and all that is because the, the intergalactical war between Satan, uh, between Lucifer and God. Now there's another intergalactical war coming with Michael and Satan. <laughs> You thought we just had World War I, the devil and Lucifer, and we had World War II, Michael and the Archangels, and Satan, and there are yet two more wars that happen. So here is Lucifer. He will become Satan and the devil and the dragon. A dragon is a reptile, fish, and Dagon. The Pope's hat when you look at him sideways. L Lucifer in the Latin. It's always pulling out the Latin. Lux, L U X, means light. Furrow, F E R O, being, being, B E I N G, the light being. So, what's Paul say about the Corinthian church? Behold the angel of light, as an angel of light. Jesus says, I beheld Satan as lightning. Be careful of those people who say, I died and I saw the light. I'll tell you who the light is. At the second advent, Lord Jesus Christ, at the end of the tribulation period, when all lights, natural and artificial, are turned off, and here comes the light of Jesus Christ. He says, I am the light of the world. Antichrist means against God. You know, Jesus Christ is the lion, lion of the tribe of Judah. The Bible says the devil is a lion. Everything that Jesus is, the devil has an invitation. Jesus is the light of the world. Here, <coughs> here's the light of Lucifer. And when we get to Ezekiel 28, he's a one-man band. Let's go there real quick. Ezekiel 28. We have to study Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel 28, we're, we're going to do, you know, we're going to skim through Ezekiel 28. Lord willing, we get to it. But Ezekiel 28, um, verse 12, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Lucifer was a beautiful, put on the front cover of a magazine. And in the and the virtuous woman Proverbs thirty one says beauty is vain. Verse thirteen, thou hast been in Eden. I don't think the king of Tyre was in Eden. You know who was in Eden? What did we read? What did we read in in Revelation twelve? The old serpent, the devil, Satan. Okay. Every precious stone was thy covering. The devil was covered with stones as flakes, as scales, like a fish. That priest, that high priest that had the stones on his on his shoulders and the stones on the breastplate was likened to be Lucifer. God loves color. Look at New Jerusalem, all those stones in the beautiful colors. You know, they find these fish in the deepest realms of the ocean where man could never go without artificial submarines. And they find these, these fish are just absolutely colorful. And then you get out in outer space and you get the Hubble tel telescope and it sends pictures back to it. And you see where man cannot see with his naked eye. He's beautiful. Outsta I love to see the pictures of what's out there. Hubble. Beautiful colors. And the beautiful colors of the realm of God when he made Lucifer, the light bearer, that when light flashed off of, of Lucifer, man, it was beautiful. Beauty. So there's that. And it tells you the stones. 
The workmanship, verse 13, thy tablets, thy pipes were prepared in thee. The musical instrument, pipes and, and tablets, was built in that body of Lucifer. He was a one-man band. Lucifer is, or was, excuse me, the song leader of heaven. And do you know what will destroy a church more? The preacher ran away with the piano player. The song leader. You know what's messed up in the churches today? The music, the contemporary music, the Christian rock, the Christian rap, the drum set. I was watch. I watched virtual that virtual TV, and they had this great, great. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the other one. Not Ripley's, believe it or not. Um, the Guinness Book of World Records. Be careful of ministries in the Guinness Book of World Records. They had the, the Guinness Book of the 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 most equipment for a drum set for Jesus and for God. You know they played drums when they killed their babies for Molech. You know you can turn on a radio station, get more for the devil's music than you will for God's music. You realize we're in Daytona Beach. We've been preaching Daytona Beach for six years. You realize what they use to try to to drown out the gospel? They will try to use music, and it's funny when you listen to the words of the music, it comes out of the Bible because Satan knows the Bible. But we'll keep reading. The day that thou was created. Lucifer is a created being. Lucifer was not eternal. The devil has never been eternal. He was created by God. He's anointed cherub, verse 14. The cherub, there's, there's the human face, there's the eagle, there's the uh, ox, and there's the calf. No fish. No reptile class. Guess who's he's fallen? He's been in the holy mount of God, heaven, verse 14. Isn't that where we're at, 714? I think. Yeah, 14, chapter 14. Verse 15, he was perfect in thy ways. Thou was created. Iniquity was found in thee. That's what happened to the devil, or uh, Lucifer, iniquity. Verse 16, he sinned. In verse 16, I will cast thee out profane out of the mountain of God. O covering cherub. What's that? What's that? That's when God's going to have Michael kick him out of heaven. Because in Isaiah chapter 14, it's when he kicks Lucifer out of heaven. Satan is still that anointed cherub. He has a new name and a new position. Now, Isaiah 14, according to those who believe the gap theory, the chronicle order of the Bible, right, and is, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Here is Lucifer. He's falling. God drowns it all out and turns into an ice age. That's what I believe. And God came and looked upon the ice age that he had, and he, said, and he made light, and he, he This go, I believe with the gap theory, this goes with Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2, what we're reading right now. I, I don't know where it goes for those who don't who don't believe the gap theory. But they will agree with me on the fact is, this is even before man shows up. We will agree on that. You know, Job was written before Genesis. You know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy... We're written them after Exodus 20. What we're reading in Isaiah 14 happened before, before Adam and Eve were created. That when Adam and Eve are created, that old serpent, Revelation chapter 12, is the fall and created Lucifer. So how are they fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? As the angel of light, I beheld Saint Paul's lightning. Be care, be careful though. I died and I've seen the light. You better get out of the way because you may be going through a tunnel and here comes a train. Just Matthew. 
son of the morning. Now, be careful because Jesus Christ, <laughs> the day star. Be careful. Because there are, there are Bibles out there that will change the word of God to make Lucifer Jesus and Jesus Lucifer was that son of the morning. There's a difference between sun in the morning and then the morning star. How art thou cut down to the ground? Again, I believe in the, I believe in the gap theory and down to the ground is what God said, get out of here. And later on, Michael's going to do that with, with Satan. He fell as Lucifer, and he's going to be thrown out by as Satan, the devil, Revelation 12. There was a time that Lucifer fell from heaven, became the devil, became uh, Satan, and he's walking around on the earth before Adam and Eve. So when God created Adam and Eve, there's the devil who was Lucifer. Uh-huh. And, and what purpose does, does, does the book of Revelation chapter 4 say? And we're not going to, you know, for thy honor, for thy glory, for thy wonder was thou created. And, and Satan looks up and like, uh-huh, yeah, really? Well, I'm important more than you, God. Watch this. There was a battle the day that God made Adam. But Adam didn't have the weakness. The woman had the weakness. And you got to wonder with Adam and Eve before Genesis 3, were they speaking to Satan? Doubt was in the Garden of Eden. How can that woman just start speaking to a snake? What's the whole deal with that? Now, if it was me and a snake, boom, I'm in Timbuktu. I ain't getting nowhere near a snake. I will drop a nuclear bomb on a snake's head and then examine him later, find out if he's a good snake or a bad snake. After I destroy the whole human race. I will destroy the whole human race for one snake. Amen. I mean, my idea, we got down here to Florida Evergrades, and I was watching a program, I was in the hospital about the snakes. And and my idea to the Florida Evergrades with all those snakes, rattlesnakes, and boa snakes, just drop a nuclear bomb. That's, that's how much I hate snakes. <laughs> I didn't want to go to Pensacola, Florida, for Dr. Ruckman's school because I hated snakes. Believe it or not, that's, well, you can't ask my wife. When we get to glory, when you when you talk to Lisa and say, did he really not want to go to Dr. Ruckman's school because of snakes? Yeah, we tried talking him out of it. And I'm in Florida. And I've only seen one, two snakes. I see more snakes in Connecticut than I did in Florida. No invitation, please, Lord. Which did weaken the nations. I thought the Democrats weakened the nations. I thought the Republicans were the weak in the nations. By the way, about verse 12, the NIV says it's Jesus. I got wait a minute, let me think about this. Right? The Mormon, you know what the Mormons say? And I, I got a guy he does with. You know what the Mormons say? Lucifer and Jesus are brothers. I got a guy, I'm not gonna say where, and when he talks about he always talks about Jesus and Lucifer were brothers. No one, nowhere in the Bible does it tell me that Mary gave birth to Lucifer. Lucifer was even around when Mary. Because he wasn't Lucifer no more. He was Satan. And then they'll run over there, over there to 1 John where, you know, the child of the devil came. That's a whole other study we're not doing tonight, but that's not Lucifer. Lucifer was the being in heaven. Not the being on earth. We'll read on. For thou hast said in thy heart. He's got a heart. Heart is stone. I will ascend into heaven. How is he going to ascend into heaven? He's fallen. 
He's on the earth. And he's looking at God. I'm going to take you over, God. Me going to take that throne of yours. That's the devil. So when God makes Adam, there is already wrath of the devil. You, you create. Well, go Revelation chapter 4. Come on, we got to go over there. Revelation chapter 4. Everything that's created is, why are we here? Revelation chapter 4. We got to read this. I don't know when I got this nugget. I remember what church it was. I remember who told me. And I've never forgotten this nugget. Why are we here? Verse 11, chapter 4. Thou art worthy, Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. That was supposed to be Lucifer. And all. And the angels. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Adam, Lucifer, angels, cherubims. Whoever those four and twenty-four elders are. Lucifer was created for God's glory. Lucifer fell. He kicked out of heaven. God says, all right, I'll make man. He's going to worship me. He's going to honor me. And Lucifer's on the bush like, no, he's not. You wait. What's God doing now? Whoa, what's that? Some kind of little sexy little thing over there. What's that? Well, I mean, the husband and wife. Oh, let me break that family up. What's that woman doing? She's looking at my tree. <sighs> Plan B. I'll get the wife. And when I get the wife, I'll get the man, plan A, and we'll get God. And then they'll be, I'll be their king. I'll be their ruler. And they'll worship me and God. Come on. I will ascend into heaven and will exalt my throne. Lucifer had a throne. The song leader had a throne. You know what happens in most churches? Up up on the podium, there's, there's, there's a pastor's seat. And who else seat is up there beside the choir? The song leader seat. The piano player has her own little seat. And if you can play special music in the church, and I'm not saying anything wrong with it. I'm just saying this is where we are. I am not, I am not saying anything wrong with it. But if you can play special music for the Lord, you have your seat. I'm not saying anything wrong with that. But where did these extra seats come from? And I'm saying I've been in churches where, and I've heard of churches, whatever has to do with that music department broke that church. Most cases. The other case that's broken churches is families. And usually the big mouth of the wife. Eve opened up their mouth and had a conversation with a serpent who Revelation chapter 12 tells us the old serpent is the devil. That Paul, yes Lord, I got something for you right. I was going to finish this letter. Now, before you finish the letter for tonight and get your cookies, Write this down, okay? What do you want me to write? By the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, women shall not usurp the authority over men. Got it. Why? What did Eve do? When a woman takes a pulpit, she's taking the same thing that Eve did, dealing with the devil. And then Paul tells the Corinthian church that the devil is an angel of light and he has his ministers. I will exalt my throne. He's got a throne. It's in Babylon, according to Revelation. I don't know. We're not going to go try to find it. But there, there's one of the seven churches in the tribulation period. I mean, one of the seven churches in the book of Revelation. It says where Satan's seat is. You know, there's a seat of the law. When Jesus was on this earth... Moses' seat. That's the seat of the law. You know, there's a seat of the devil. And then there was God's seat. The mercy seat. 
And the mercy seat had two cherubims. You did read all that. You do know about the seats, right? And then there's David's throne. That will be given over to Jesus Christ. And then there's Satan's throne. And you read about that in the book of Revelation. And one, one of the plagues, it's, it's boils and blisters, something like that. I think it says it falls on the seat of the devil or the Antichrist, something like that. Somewhere around, there is a seat of the devil. You know, the Pope has his own little seat. You know, of all the religions in the world, there's one particular mother church where their leader has a throne. And his own city, his own postal service, his own security, his own money. And one of the churches in the book of Revelation says where Satan's seat is. My throne above the stars of God. Book of Revelation says that's the angels. I will sit also on the mount. Revelation, we read. No, Ezekiel, excuse me, Ezekiel. Something to the fact is heaven's a mountain, but that's another time. Of the congregation, what's that congregation? God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the angels, 424 uh, elders, the cherubims, the cherubims, soon to be uh, the entire church, but right now Christians, the Old Testament saints, Enoch, Elijah, Moses, Michael, Gabriel, that's the congregation. In the sides of the north, again, it, God's in the north. It's likened to heaven as a mountain. I will, look at the I wills of Satan. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes, he is. Principalities and powers in high places. To go where no man in space is ought to go. That international space station that's floating around the earth and all the satellites, that is not the realm of man. To go visit Mars, you know, the god of Mars, the red planet. And Jupiter, that, I, that item, that image that fell to the earth from Jupiter. Man has no business there. That is Satan and his powers and principalities above the clouds before heaven. Say what you will. Say what you won't. We don't belong there. And in 2021, we have Dragon and SpaceX going up there. And right now, supposedly, the last thing I heard last night was supposed to be something that was supposed to fall from SpaceX into the Gulf of Mexico, which they were doing experiments about, you know, implantation. You better get it right. Maybe, I believe in UFOs, maybe one day's day they're going to open up that SpaceX and an extra creature is going to step out and say, hi, I'm resurrected. I'm the way, the truth and the life. We finally got rid of all those hillbilly, gooey bullies, Bible thumping. We got rid of them. Let me take over. Don't take me to your leader. I'm your leader. You say, stop it. Wow, you're getting out of the ground. I'll send my throne above. He'll, he, you know, the Bible says, Jesus said, Daniel said, the abomination, the desolation, where he ought not to be. Where is he ought not to be? The most holy place. You know, the mercy seat's not going to be there. And the mercy seat's in heaven. Tell that to Harrison Ford. Maybe he'll make his own seat. Mm-hmm. He's an antichrist. He's got an imitation everything. That's a lot of information. I will be like the most high. I will send the heights of the clouds. That's space travel. And then I'm going to be just like God. So much like God, they call him the antichrist. And when you look and study the Antichrist, he's almost like Christ. All you think is he's the flip side of the record. If Jesus Christ is righteous and holy, the Antichrist is the wicked and the unholy. 
Jesus Christ is the lion of the tribe of Judah. The devil is a lion. Jesus Christ has a city. The Antichrist has a city. Jesus Christ has a following of people. The devil has a following of people. Jesus Christ has his music. The devil has his music. Jesus Christ has his word. I'll tell you, they has the devil's word. Jesus Christ has people who worship him. The devil has people that worship him. Jesus Christ can do miracles. The Antichrist is going to do miracles. Jesus Christ has prophets. The Antichrist is going to have prophets. God answers verse 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. All right. He's going down again. He, he leaves heaven's throne to the earth. He's allowed to go back and forth. He's kicked out of heaven. Revelation chapter 12 finally. By Michael's archangels. And then. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. I'll show you something. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. A lot of information. Matthew 25. Verse 41. Then. Shall he, God, Jesus, say unto them that are on his left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire. There's a baptism of fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. When Lucifer fell, between Genesis 1 and Genesis 1 2, those that believe the gap, like I do, I don't know if those that, I don't know where this stands. I have not studied those who don't believe. I'm not saying people don't believe in the gap theory are wrong. I just haven't studied that. But those who believe the gap between Gen Genesis 1 1 and Genesis 1 2, hell was created because Lucifer fell and some of his angels went there, Jude. And first or second Peter. The devil hasn't gone there yet. But he will. Now, what does it say hell was created for? It says the devil, the fallen Lucifer, and his angel. Does it say man? The devil added to that. Genesis chapter 3. I will now add it, men. Men will come with me. God never intended man to go to hell. Look at that. Read that. When the devil did the work he did in Genesis chapter 3, hell was opened up for man. Never intended for man. Because I want worship. It'd be quite interesting if there is a throne in hell. I don't know. It's five cents plus shipping and handling. It'd be interesting in hell if it it is, there's a throne in the devils. I don't know about that. But thou shalt be brought down to hell. That's prophecy. He's not in hell yet. Get that right now. He is not in hell yet. He goes into the lake of fire before Revelation 20. We don't have time to go there. Yes, we do. Revelation 20. Revelation 20. Matter of fact, I, and I'm not going to get you. I don't think Satan's going to be at the Great White Stone Judgment. But I'm not going to get in. That's five cents for shipping and handling. Because watch. I'll show you something. And we'll get back. The million's over. The devil gets an army. And let's see. All right, verse 9. And went out and breath of the earth, confessed the camp of saints, that's us, about and beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. That's the devil's last army. That's the last world war. And the devil, there he is, that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, the Antichrist, and Judas. And they're tormented day and night. Now, look at verse 13. This is extra five cents. And death and hell were, de were delivered to the dead that were in them. 
Verse 14, death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. What's in the lake of fire right now? The devil, the false prophet, and the Antichrist. Verse 15, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire, where the devil is already. I believe, and I'm not going to get, but I believe, you don't have to believe this, I believe the devil, the Antichrist, and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire and bypass the great white throne judgment. You say, well, how can God throw the devil into hell when there's a lake of fire? Because in the lake of fire, it said there's hell. No contradiction. So thou shalt be cast down to hell, which is in the lake of fire. Revelation 20. To the sides of the pit. So the pit is a reference to the grave and to hell. They that see thee and hell, and we already talked about that with the, with the, with the beast, verse 9, 10, 11. Did not that rich man say, hey, I see Abraham over there. Hey, I see Lazarus over there. But we're going to party in hell. Hey, friend, shut up. You're the one who got me in here. I don't want to hear from you. Imagine, you imagine your preacher all smiling, lovey dovey. Hey, you got, shut up. You liar! Damn, I'm in here because of you. And you hear that all eternity. Man, when you die and go to hell, that ain't, ain't it over. And nothing over. Torment, that man in hell said. Of everything, memories, pain, suffering, the one that put you in there. The one that kept you. Oh, don't go up to the altar. Don't go to that church. Don't read that Bible. Man, the man that gets someone into hell thinking they're saved. Ooh -wee. And they end up in hell themselves. Whew. That's scary. They that see thee narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? The devil, who was a cherubim, created by God, is, is now made like a man. And he burns like a man. Because there's a possibility as a, as a devil... The devil, the Satan, he might not have suffered in hell. Now the Bible says, God said, God is speaking, that the people say, is this the man? They're talking about the devil. He's more than a man, according to Ezekiel. Man, he's, the, he's Lucifer. He's a dragon. And in hell, the lake of fire, he's a man. That's a great big humbling experience. I don't know if the devil can feel pain today. I don't know. But he's made a man in hell, he will feel pain. And torments. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? I thought it was the Democrat that was voting into office. I thought that whole earth trembled. I thought it was China releasing this COVID-19 and all the world is scared and putting a mask on. You know, the fear and your anxieties is all because of the devil. God never gives you fear. God never gives you anxiety. That's Satan. And did shake kingdom. Oh, yeah, we got a Democrat in office. Oh, times are over. That's the devil. 
We need a king. We want to be a king like the nation. That's the devil. Because God told Samuel, they haven't rejected you. They rejected me. And they got the closest thing to the devil they could get in Saul. And there are men in the Bible who are likened and types of the devil. That made the world as a wilderness produces nothing. No light. The wilderness is so bad that God had to give them water out of a rock. He had to feed them manna from heaven. Destroyed cities thereof. And you thought it was a nuclear war. He had power over weather in Job chapter 1. That openeth not the house of his prison. Once you go into the devil's prison, you don't ever come out. The devil will never parole you. And they call it a place of correction. Yeah, in a pig's eye. Peanut.